This is a two-part little testimony, and um, oh, the first part is simple. Uh, five years ago, I um, was struck down with stroke and uh, found out on that same day that I had cancer. Uh, subsequently, that was removed, and I prayed to the Lord for months. I was unsaved at the time. And I prayed for months and months. I still understood who the Lord was. And all I asked for was the strength to endure. And that if it was his will, that it'd be that. Um, when I went back to the doctors to get the full report, they said to me, I don't know what you've done between now and then, but we don't get this opportunity to say, many, say this to many people. But uh, you're free. You're clear. Hallelujah. And uh, I broke down. Sure. Um, to have your life put in front of you in, in a very real way right. is uh, most confronting. Yes, and for an unsaved man, even more so, uh, in the ensuing years, uh, I sought the Lord and, and found a way to asked Christ to save me in 2020. Next month is five years almost to the day I've been given an extension of my life. Yeah. Hallelujah. And you've been, so a few people have been saying, oh, you look pretty happy and, and you look a bit, a bit of joy of the Lord. <laughs> All I can tell you, a man that's been given five extra years <laughs> And then found the Lord in the middle of that. Amen. If he doesn't get any joy, then there's something wrong. Amen. And uh, I, can, I can tell you, um, in the process of all that, I also found out that I couldn't work. I couldn't uh, do this and I couldn't do that. My mental acumen had gone. My physical strength had gone. And the only thing I could do was rely on the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, like I said, you wonder why I'm happy? It's because he's with me and I'm with him. Amen. And uh, as I said, this is five years. If I get past this week, I'll get another five years. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Well, I have I say? I'll be say, pray, praise be to the Lord. <laughs> um, there's the second part of this is that not only you get a joy and a peace from being with the Lord in such a way. But in the process of all this, he's brought me here. Amen. And I look out and there's, I can come in here and there's people happy to stand in front and sing to the Lord Amen. and pray to the Lord and be in fellowship here and to come and hear pastor give us the word of the Lord in spirit and in truth, waist high over the plate. Amen. And there's not many places you can do that. Amen. I'm sitting at coffee this morning and there's a young bloke come past. He sees me every Sunday and I have a coffee and a toast every Sunday before I come here. And he said to me this morning, <laughs> every time I see you, you've got a smile on your face. <laughs> and he said, where do you go to church? <laughs> I said, out at Ashbury. And he said to me, that's a, that's a long way to travel from here. <laughs> and I said, yeah. And he said, you know what? It must be a good thing out there. And uh, so something's rubbing off. And I reckon it's not only the word of the Lord and getting in the book and spending time with him, but it's here Amen. with all you people. Amen. And I can't thank you enough. Amen. And you're as much of the joy of the Lord in being here as it is in the Lord himself. And I, and I thank you for everything. And I pray that I get another five years with you guys. Amen. And I ask one favour. If I go, if he takes me home before you blokes, <laughs> you put a little a cardboard cutout over there <laughs> of me with a great big amen. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, everyone. From the bottom of my heart.